In this video, we are going to understand about arrow operators. Arrow operators are basically a replacement of function keyword in JavaScript. So let's try to understand by using it. If you are new here, do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so that you will get latest videos delivered first to you. So let's create a normal function and call it area. And it has two parameters, your length and width. And we're going to return length into width as the area. Okay. We can call it directly. Just let's print out on the console. So we can call area and here we can pass the parameter two and three. Let's check. So we're getting six. So now we can convert this function into an arrow operator function. How to do that? First, let's comment this out. So we're going to create a constant variable. Okay. So here we just have to provide the signature of the function, just like we did earlier without the function keyword. So it will have length and width as a parameter. And here we are going to supply the fat operator. This is called the fat operator. So basically the function keyword is replaced by the fat operator and from start position, it goes to separate your function parameter and the body. And similarly, you can return the value like this. And then you can call area same way as you did for the function. Let's run this Pass a different parameter, check the value. Yeah, so this is working. So this is the way to declare an arrow function where you define the parameter list and separate by a fat operator and the body of the function. Some of the things that arrow operator simplifies that suppose you have just got one line. So you can even omit curly brackets and thus return statement. So let's run this. Change the value first. Yeah, this is working. So in arrow operator functions, when you have single line, so you don't need a return statement or curly bracket. It is implicitly returned. Now suppose you have got only one parameter. For example, if this area was for the square. You can just send the side length. In this case, we are returning the area as side into side and call this area of the square three. So let's check nine. Okay. Now, if we have got just one parameter, even we can omit this bracket. We got the value. Okay. So this reduces so much line of code compared to what we had to write when we we're using function. So this makes your code really concise and very easy to use. Now, one of the use case where Lambda function will be frequently used when we use it as a callback. We'll understand callback in further lectures. But to demonstrate the functionality, I'm going to take an example. For example, there is a function called process. Okay. This takes a variable name and convert the name into lowercase and return as a callback. So I'm going to create a function, a variable called callback. Okay. This is a normal function. So this function takes of another function callback and first it processes the name. So it makes the name. Let's create a variable let processed name and this becomes name dot to lower case. Okay. Now we pass the result to the callback function like this. Okay. So we can call this function process like this. Here we can supply my name in capital, for example, 
and we can supply a callback function so we can just pass a function and it will receive one value that is the name for example process name and then we want to log this return value okay let's run and check so we have got small letter so we are passing this function here we can replace this function by our arrow operators and this will become very concise code so how we can do that name arrow operator and just console dot log your name that return value from that function let's this time change my complete name and run this program you see this is working so this has reduced so much line of code and make your code really concise. So we will be using arrow operator very frequently in our application.